Hi there Pisces, welcome to your mid-December 2023 general tarot update. It's Rena here. <laughs> okay okay so one of the things that is interesting here is that um, in, in the central position, the hermit card on the top middle, in the top middle, is surrounded by two cards that I would associate with marriage, four of wands, and this is the past position, this is the happy home and the happy marriage, sometimes a new home. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is a card of family money. It can be big money sometimes. Maybe being helped out by the family. But what is in the center here? This is completely opposing that those what that represents, this person who is alone. So what could possibly be going on that would indicate that there is this idea of the dream that dies sometimes uh, it's a necessity for the person to really be able to see the light and move on because maybe that Four of Wands wasn't really all it was cracked up to be. Maybe that relationship wasn't what you thought it was. And um, so when I look at the challenge card here, it is the Eight of Wands, which is about forward movement and because there's something blocking it it can be I would say one of the big possibilities with a sign like Pisces is that you refuse to see the writing on the wall and by the way I mean this I, I always like to say that you know these because this is a this is a general reading it doesn't necessarily have to be a, uh, a marriage or that type of relationship. Uh, I mean, that's what it looks like to me from this aspect, but certainly the person who is in a job that doesn't feel right anymore, that doesn't feel like you belong there. But you may be experiencing a certain stagnancy. And I can't remember if Neptune is, if your ruler at, at the time of this recording is still retrograde, probably. No, I don't know. Neptune might have just gone direct. But that feeling of forward movement, sometimes when a person's ruler is retrograding, they can feel that sense of, um, you know, backwards movement rather than forward movement. So that could be the momentum has slowed down, but it's, it can come back. It's, there's a reason we do have different, uh, you know, phases in our life. And, um, 
if you're in a um, kind of like a, a, a phase of being more introspective, then definitely own that because you rule that house of, of the monk or the hermit even though your opposite sign Virgo is actually connected to it. And um, there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually a good thing because it can help you in the future when you meet the right person because you'll know what went wrong in your current relationship. What's coming in is the Six of Wands. This is a card of um, success and really... Um, honors, recognition, but that can even be through a person. The Six of Wands is connected to the sign of Leo. And so the idea is that when we embrace our goodness or our okayness, and we meet somebody new that we will naturally be attracted to somebody who sees the, the good things within ourselves. When people don't have that, they tend to find themselves in relationships with people who are very critical because it feels very familiar. They've had this experience before and it feels like this is the right person because they know that I have all these faults instead of the person who is really impressed by you and thinks you're a great person. So I feel like this card indicates meeting that kind of person who sees the best in you. And the outcome card, I did pick a couple of other cards in addition to this because the outcome card is a four of cups. And this can be, uh, and, and who knows, maybe this is exactly what I was just illustrating. You see the cloud, which can represent the universe, giving this person an individual who is caring. You know, the, the, the cups represent the emotions and maybe people that are expressing emotions and maybe you're just sitting there with your arms folded because you're not ready to receive that and that comes with self-love when you love yourself you can easily embrace the idea that that you are okay so if somebody says those things to you you're not going to doubt them so then I picked another card and I got the Ten of Swords. And this is a card of betrayal. So what I think this means is that you may be kind of connecting the dots and seeing exactly what is what has happened in your situation, whether it's in the workplace or in a partnership. And that allows you to understand who is on your side and who isn't. The outcome card is the King of Pentacles. Well, I mean, these are outcome cards, but I mean, the last card that I drew is the King of Pentacles. And the King represents the highest form of mastery of all the suit cards and Pentacles relate to the uh, material elements. So this can indicate, you know, if you do get a job, it pays very well. Even if you, maybe you were not um, feeling appreciated somewhere else. And this is a chance for you to, to obtain that. Like 10 of pentacles and king of pentacles, that's good for money. But in a relationship. This can mean a relationship that um, with a person who is very grounded, very mature, very stable. Um, also, maybe this is something within yourself that you're not wavering. 
and you're able to um, weather any storms that are occurring in your life because of the shifting sands of circumstance so that you can have the things that you are attracting which seem to be very good both financially and um, love related okay Pisces that's what I have for you I hope that this resonated if you would like a private reading the link is below take care bye